Well, all the improvements such as breeding and disease control that have made poultry production more efficient can, can be and have been applied to aquaculture, improving the conversion of feed to meat and sparing wild fish. Now, in some fish ranching, I'll call it, notably most of today's ranching of salmon, the salmon effectively graze the oceans as the razorback hogs of a primitive farmer graze the oak woods. Such aquaculture consists of catching small wild fish, such as menhaden, anchovies, and sardines, or their oil, and feeding them to our herds, such as the salmon in pens. We change the form of the fish from, from menhaden to salmon, but we, we add economic value, but we don't change the stocks. In fact, we may reduce them. Well, we need a shift from ocean ranching to true farming that will spare the depletion, and that's one way to do it, or we can try to persuade salmon and other carnivores to eat tofu. <laughs> and in fact, this should happen very soon. Cobia, sometimes called kingfish, uh, widespread in the Caribbean and other warm waters, grows up to two meters, big fish, 80 kilos, and they, their favorite diet is crab, squid, and smaller fish. Well, recently Aaron Watson and other researchers at the University of Maryland have turned this carnivore into a vegetarian. Uh, they have a mixture of plant-based proteins, fatty acids, and an amino acid substance very much like the one in energy, energy drinks that your children favor. And it pleases the cobia as well as bream. And conversion of these carnivorous fish to completely vegetarian diet breaks the cycle in which fish, fish ranchers plunder the ocean's small fish uh, to provide the feed for the big fish. And you can see in the top right of this chart, in the, the dark blue, this is a chart from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the FAO, that all the growth of, uh, uh, of fish meat since uh, about 1985-1990 has been through aquaculture. The, uh, uh, we are at peak fish, not for good reasons, from the capture production. So uh, if we want more, we need to... Uh, 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 we need to, to, to go to aquaculture, and it can't, it's not just fish. We can do the same for the filter feeders, the oysters, clams, and mussels. We have to take care for effluents, uh, pathogens, and other concerns. Now, eventually, we might grow fish not in the oceans at all, but in closed silos uh, at high density, feeding them proteins made by microorganisms grown on hydrogen, nitrogen, and carbon. And the fish could be sturgeon filled with caviar. And in fact, much of the caviar now sold in Moscow is raised in fish farms in the Po Valley in northern Italy. Uh, there's not much wild sturgeon left in the Volga. Uh, well, the point is that the high levels of harvest of wild fishes and destruction of marine habitat to capture them need not continue. And the 40% of seafood in the dark blue in the chart already raised by aquaculture signals the potential for reversal. With smart aquaculture, life in the oceans can rebound while feeding humanity and restoring nature.